Welcome to your Soul Eclipse in Cancer video where I explain to you the energies that we will all be feeling right now. Pisces, Scorpio and Cancer, this eclipse will put you deep in your feelings but all of us, every single one of us is going to be affected by this transit in different ways. Now the Soul Eclipse is the Sun and Cancer is a water sign ruled by the Moon and the new Moon is happening in Cancer with the Soul Eclipse and this energy can be very intense. Because the sun is our masculine energy and cancer is a divine feminine energy. So having this energy coming across can really put our energy when it comes to our emotions in overdrive. We'll be deeply feeling things, deeply saddened, deeply feeling emotional, pushed to tears. Cancer rules the home. The North Node was in cancer. And this has brought us back home. So before the North Node moved into Gemini previously this year, we had the North Node in Cancer when we had the lockdown, bringing us back to home, to nurture, to stay home. All of that energy is Cancer energy. And that's when we had the North Node being destiny in the area of home, bringing us all back home. The North Node there really was about looking at your environment and how you feel about it. Does it make you happy? What do you want to do with your home? How do you want to make living at your home? All of those kinds of things. And then now we're going to have, and we do have currently, the North Node Gemini. How do you relate to your home? How do you relate to the people that you communicate with? Um, are you feeling a connection? How do you relate to your work? All of that. How do you think about it? Because Gemini is ruled by Mercury. But Mercury is also in retrograde in Cancer. So our thoughts... Because Mercury rules the thoughts and, and our communication and information is all now in our feelings. Not very comfortable aspects to have everything in our feelings. It's almost like everything is upside down. And you might look at your life and think, oh my gosh, <laughs> things are completely upside down. The way I planned for things, the way I hoped for things, what I believed in, what I thought was right. Questioning yourself will be coming up a lot because Gemini is all about questioning yourself and your beliefs, your hopes, your drives, what you thought you knew, what you think you know, what you knew will all be challenged. And that's because Sagittarius is in the South Node. So our beliefs and expansion and growth and wisdom and everything that we feel we know is being challenged and we can't really be hopeful right now. we got to look at the facts. Gemini not know and the Mercury kind of energy, but all of this is in our feelings. You, do you see how it takes us really back because everything is in cancer? What do we do? What do we do? And that's the thing. So if you are a fire sign and you are a Sagittarius, and Aries, all that kind of Leo energy, fire energy, you're going to feel like you just are so frustrated, so blocked, so angered, so grr, just so much so feeling impulsive with this energy that you want to just take control right now because that is the divine masculine energy. The fire energy is the divine masculine. And then we have our air signs, which is all our also our divine masculine energy, which is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Venus is also in retrograde in Gemini. So our feelings when it comes to, <laughs> is again putting our thoughts. Everything is upside down. And Gemini is, has a Mercury retrograde, which is happening right now. So all of this is also kind of, Frustrating, overthinking, taking you back to the past of how things were, how things used to be. Not feeling comfortable because Saturn is an Aquarius, so we don't feel comfortable. The moon doesn't feel comfortable. You know, Cancer don't feel comfortable in the new surroundings. It feels foreign and alien. We're trying to work with it, but it's frustrating. And that's our fire energy coming through. So it's important not to get frustrated with this energy, especially if you're a fire sign, you could feel frustrated, have headaches. Uh, feel uncomfortable in your own skin, itchiness, tenderness, feeling like you're getting hot, fevers, all of that unwell because you just cannot handle the heat and especially after the solar eclipse, especially because Mars will be moving into Aries. So you're really going to feel angered then. Now everything is just going in your sensitivity energy because Mars is in Pisces and Pisces in the last degrees gives us our hard lessons before it enters into Aries, the wounded healer that wants to take charge. He wants to act on impulse because Mars is the god of war. God of war too now is in his feelings. 
Notice how all the, the, the energies are opposite to each other, giving us this look at like, gosh, what do I think can feel the confusion, you know? And a lot of anger because of the confusion, because everything that feels comfortable to you as a fire sign or water sign, it's opposing and making it feel, you know, not, not where it wants to be. I mean, even with the solar eclipse happening, in cancer it's a solar eclipse happening in a divine feminine energy and the sun is masculine so it's not comfortable all this not comfort of the this masculine energy opposing and the 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 the, the divine feminine the divine feminine feels suppressed and that's the big thing that's happening and the masculine energy wants to take charge and this makes us go into battle battle with ourselves and also seeing battles that are happening in the world this is that kind of energy that's really where we can see the conflict. You know, that's what happens when we feel things are upside down and the energy seem to be where our feelings, our head is. And when our head is, is our feelings. We start feeling like we confused and this makes us feel aggravated and wanting to take action and push us to extreme lengths. What do you do? Huh? What do you do? So the first thing is first, because it's a solar eclipse in Cancer, I would suggest when you look at your home, do you feel comfortable? Did you listen to that not node energy? Did you release the things that made you feel uncomfortable in your home? Remember the not node energy is about Cancer previously. So it was all about coming back home, our mother energy also. That's also another thing, releasing things about your mom, whether you've lost a mom or grieving over your mom or having a dispute with your mom, all of that, or previous experiences, or patterns of you and your mom. All of that energy is coming up because of the cancer energy. Release, let go. Feel it and see what do you need to take action about. Do you need to actually release it? Do you have to have a conversation? Do you want to move forward in a different direction? That's what you need to do. What can you do to actually nurture yourself? So that's that energy coming through about looking at our mother figure, looking at our home, looking at ourselves and how we nurture and take care of ourselves. Do we go around people pleasing? Because cancer can do that. It's about not doing that. It's about actually taking care of yourself and others in a healthy, non-toxic manner. Because it can get pretty toxic when things are out of balance and we're over-nurturing and we're over-giving and we're not actually taking time out for self. So time out for self is very important during this time rest sleep your thoughts will be in your feelings as well do not act on impulse if you are fire energy if you're an earth sign too use that stability of the earth don't let it become unstable earth signs are virgo capricorn all of those kinds of energies taurus don't let it become unstable energy where you kind of like okay this is what's going on just need me quick change and Kind of feel it, embrace it. Allow the energy of this water energy of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, allow it to cool you off. Yes, there are things that are wrong. Yes, there are things that now we can see blatantly as injustice, injustice in the world, world and injustice personally when it comes to our intimate relationships because Venus is in retrograde in Gemini. So we're really looking at our relationships in full swing. That's what we're doing. And Gemini is really telling us, can you communicate here? Should this person really be your friend? Is the communication worth it? Are you walking away from this relationship and feeling stimulated? Like you got information, motivation, you feel your best self when you walk away or are you feeling negative? Because remember, Gemini is all about that duality. It's the twins, right? So are you the negative twin or the positive twin? Are you feeling this energy? Are you really feeling negative by the interactions and your space? your closed space? Do you need to move? Where do you stay? How do you feel about where do you stay? What movements do you want to create? Gemini wants you to think about the long-term future. Look at the facts. Get things straight. Yes, your beliefs are changing. Yes, what you thought is changing. Yes, what you hope for is changing. But you got new information. So what do you want to formulate based on the new information that you have? How do you get through it? And so all the things that we're facing. When it comes to our businesses, how do we network now as small knits close manner because that's the gemini not known destiny of it the cancer is saying use your creativity be creative 
um, put your heart into it. If your heart isn't in it and your feelings aren't in it, there's no point in bothering. Just isn't. So you're really going to feel things where your feelings are not in it, where your heart isn't in it. Um, and this is going to push you to do things where you're either going to act and want to change things. And if you don't do that, it's going to push you on the negative spectrum where you just completely get aggressive <laughs> and <laughs> have a total meltdown. This can make you feel depressed. And remember, depression is just anger without action. That's what it is. So, uh, you know, with depression, where it hits us, I mean, it is with your hormones and all of those things as well. But beyond that, emotionally, it's more about when you just feel like giving up because what can you do? So, you know, you're angry and you're hurt and hard feelings are anger, but you don't know what to do with it. And it just makes you feel so stagnant because you're unsure of what to do. So now is the one time you got to know yourself. You got to know your destiny. And all of this is in your birth chart. You got to know where you're going. You got to know what you want. You got to listen to your intuition. Gemini 2 is about your intuition. That's why it's asking you when you are communicating with that person, do they make you feel a certain way? Do they motivate you, inspire you? Do they give you information? What kind of information? Does it feed your negative twin and your positive twin? Does it make you want to walk away and just think, oh my gosh, I'm so drained, depressed and morbid right now and the world is coming to an end? Or do I want to change in this direction? What information have I given to change my perspective, learn something new? Learning something new is very important because we're going to have to relearn. Because the energies of that Saturn-Pluto conjunction that happened earlier this year is taking us into the next 30 years. So we're going to have to relearn and relive in a different world. And yes, at times it's going to be aggravating. And yes, we're going to see a lot of battles internally, externally, in our relationships and in the world at large. But all of that is just showing you the places that needed healing, the places that need to change, the things that need to move in a different way, what people were actually thinking and feeling. It's showing you the truth. It can be uncomfortable. But once we know we can change, we can grow, we can heal, we can empower ourselves. Thank you for watching.